Hello, welcome back. Today I'll show you how to crochet this headband done with the waffle stitch. It's quite easy, you'll begin with the single crochet, then a row of double crochet, and then we'll do this waffle stitch pattern in the middle, and then we'll finish it up at the end. I will show you the whole process from the first chain to the finishing weaving in of your ends. Um, and I will do it in a pace so everyone can follow. So let's begin. For the yarn, I've used this acrylic yarn. It's 100% acrylic and in a size medium weight 4, I have this huge skein, which I used a little bit of. I used around 70 gram of this yarn for the headband. You'll also need a crochet hook size 4.5 millimeters and a tapestry needle and then some scissors. We begin with a slip knot. So make a loop with your yarn and take the long end of the yarn behind the loop. Then grab it from the middle with your hook and pull. Now we create a chain. So yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through. We keep chaining until it measures around the head we are making a, this headband for. We need for this pattern to work, we need to crochet in multiples of three. So you keep chaining until it measures around the head. But keep in mind, you have to be able to multiply it by three. So three, six, nine, so on. And then you add two. I chain 75 for it to reach around my head. And now I will add two. One, two, so I have 77 in total. I'll now do the first row of single crochet. So I skip this first chain, move on to the second one, insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. In the next chain, also a single crochet. I will do one single crochet in every stitch all the way across. I chain 77, so you should have 76 when you're across, because we skipped the first one. When we're all the way across, we have a strand looking like this. I'll now turn the row. I do that with two chains. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through and turn the work. We will now do a row of double crochet. So skip the first two chains you made and go in this, th in this third stitch from your needle, from your hook, sorry. Yarn over, insert your hook through the third stitch from your hook and do a double crochet. Then yarn over, then go into the next stitch and do a double crochet and keep doing one double crochet in every stitch for the rest of the row. So just one double crochet in every stitch all the way across. And you should still have 76 stitches all the way. And then when we are across, we will now begin the waffle stitch. So chain two to turn the work. Then turn. And now this chain two counts as the stitch that goes above this stitch down here. We will now do a stitch on top of this stitch, this next stitch. And that's a double crochet. So yarn over. Insert the hook in this stitch over here, the second one, do a double crochet and we will now do a front post double crochet in this third stitch over here. So there's one, two, three, a front post double crochet in this one. So yarn over to do a double crochet, then go down and grab this post 
so it lies in front of your hook then yarn over pull through so you have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two then yarn over pull through two that's a front post double crochet we will now do two regular double crochet so yarn over and do two regular double crochet then we will again do a front post double crochet in this next one so you have two two regular ones and then a front post double crochet so yarn over go down and grab this post from the previous row yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two then two regular double crochet in the next two stitches and then a front post double crochet so you see these front post double crochet they comes out of the work and lies in front of it we will now do a front post double crochet in this next one It's these front post double crochets that create this waffle effect. So continue this way for the rest of the row. Two regular double crochet, then a front post double crochet, then two regular, then a front post. I did my final front post double crochet. And I have one stitch left to go. And then I have this chain hanging out here so I will do a regular double crochet in this final stitch and then I will do a final double crochet in this chain all the way on the edge so just dive in in this top chain and do a double crochet to finish the row and that's the first row of the waffle stitch not much of a, look, a waffle looking pattern yet but it will come we will now chain two to turn the work turn and this chain two counts as our first stitch that belongs to this stitch down here so in this second one we will do a front post double crochet so yarn over go down and grab this post and do a front post double crochet and then we have this front post double crochet on the other side of the work that is behind the work we will do a back post double crochet to push this out even further on the back side so yarn over and then go behind and grab this post from the previous row on the back side to do a back post double crochet grab the yarn pull through whoops I'll show you that again grab the yarn pull through so you have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two then two front post double crochet in the next two it's pretty obvious to see what to do when you get the the pattern and then we have one of these front post double crochet from the previous row on the back side we will do a back post double crochet so yarn over grab the post from the previous row on the back side pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two 
then two front post double crochet in the next two and then a back post double crochet in this on the back side So each time there is one of these, you do a back post double crochet and in all the others, in the rest, you do front post double crochets for this entire row. And you can now see the waffle pattern. You can see these horizontal lines begin forming with these verticals on top. So that just continue this way for the rest of the row. At the end, I just did two front post double crochet, so I will now do a back post double crochet in this third stitch from the end. Now I only have two stitches left to go. I will do a front post double crochet in the second last. And now we only have this final stitch and I will do a regular double crochet in this stitch. Alright, so that's row number four. We have the first row of the single crochet, then we had a row of double crochet, and then we have the third and the fourth row. Now we will repeat row number three. So chain two, turn the work, and then repeat what we did down here on the third row. We have this chain two that counts as our first stitch. Then do a regular double crochet in this stitch, this second one. And then a front post double crochet to push this out even further. So yarn over. Do a front post double crochet into this one to keep pushing it out. And then two regular double crochet in between these two posts. So that's one and two. And then a front post double crochet into this one to push it out even further. So we will just repeat the row three all the way across. When you're across, you will repeat row number four. So just rewind, watch the tutorial again and watch how you do row number four if you cannot remember. But continue this pattern, repeat row number three and four until you think the headband is wide enough. And then I will show you how to finish it. I ended up doing 8 rows of this waffle pattern, so 10 rows in total, including the single crochet and the double crochet row from the beginning. So 8 rows with this waffle pattern. And this measures, let's see, 9.5 centimeters. I will now finish it up. So at the end of this row, number 10. I will chain one, then turn the work, and then I'll do one single crochet in every stitch all the way across. So just skip this chain you just did, insert the hook in the next stitch, and do a single crochet. And continue with one single crochet in every stitch all the way across. And when we're all the way across, we are ready to cut the yarn. So find your scissors. Leave a bit of a tail. Then grab your hook and pull it all the way through. We will now sew the headband together. So grab your tapestry needle, thread it, and then take your headband 
and fold it. Whoops. Fold it like this. So the wrong side is out. And we will now connect the ends and I will do the mattress stitch. So the mattress stitch, just do your uh, edges properly before we begin. We need to do the, the edge so it's totally straight. But the mattress stitch is where you go down between the two pieces and then from down and up the opposite side. Then again, down in between the two layers and then from underneath and up the opposite side. Again, in between and from underneath and up the other side. Continue all the way down with the mattress stitch or whatever other stitch you find useful. When we're across, we weave in the end. So insert your needle through some stitches. And then again through the same stitches all the way back. But go in somewhere else than where you came out. And then again, once more, and three times that's enough. We now cut the yarn and we have our headband. This is the wrong side. We will, of course, turn it over. So that's it. Pretty easy, pretty beautiful. <laughs> I hope you found the tutorial easy to follow. If you did, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye!